Today, we're going to talk about a game called Saber and Blood. Hi guys, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at a game called Saber and Blood that's just come up on Kickstarter. But before that, if this is your first time here and you want to keep up to date with hints and tips on painting or new miniatures from smaller indie style companies, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. So now Saber and Blood is from a Polish company. It's a two to four player kind of skirmishy kind of game. It's a card driven board game basically, but using miniatures in a vicious battle. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you a basic rundown of the information that is provided. So what it's about, how it works, stuff like that. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you really something really, really special. The lads over at Saber and Blood, they've let me have a sneak peek at some of the miniatures so that I can show you what to expect when you get this game. So without further ado, let's get started. So then, Saber and Blood. Saber and Blood is a card driven game with unique dice mechanics for two to four players set in a 17th century Europe. So imagine grim, grim times. Saber and Blood is a game that mixes card game elements with a board game. Each player takes control of three characters and fights in a vicious battle to the death. Players control their characters on the board by playing cards. Each faction has its own unique deck, character abilities, playing styles, strengths and weaknesses. All of this in to push together is what's used to strategically win. Fighting styles in this game is performed by using custom fencing st stance dice. Playing the right cards and moving your character into the right position is crucial to outsmart your opponent and to claim your victory. So, again, this is a brilliant game. I highly recommend you do not miss out on this. So, go over to Kickstarter, check this out. There you go guys, that's Saber and Blood. That's the info that you can retrieve from Kickstarter that is, encompasses the whole game. It's really condensed down. It's a really nice looking Kickstarter. The miniatures look great. The idea of having fencing dice, so that determines everything. It's a really good idea. It's brilliant as a gateway game. I mean, really a really brilliant game for a gateway. You know, being able to incorporate miniatures, card, aspects dice throwing and the board game side itself they've really encompassed everything that you want for a brilliant gateway game so there's everything for saber and blood i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time see ya